Hey everyone, this is Triple Sevens from New Gamer Union, and today I'm going to show you the Microsoft Flight that just came out free on the Steam client, free to play section. <clears throat> so far, I've been having a decent amount of fun with it. Great graphics, pretty cool. Let me show you. All right, you play on the island of Hawaii. Um, you get the main big island here. Uh, this is all an expansion. This whole area that I haven't bought yet. I think it's $29.99. Uh, but this is actually really big right here. Three different airports, tons of different missions. Having a lot of fun with that. Um, you've got, you know, the standard stuff, like profiles and your hangar and everything. This is like my stats and, you know, stuff I've been doing. Um, let me just get you into a mission. Obviously, they have like free flight <clears throat> and activities. The missions have already completed all of them. They're really easy just to get you into the game and do different things like that. Uh, the challenges I'm working on don't have them all done yet, uh, but they do, you know, their obstacle courses, landing, taking off, weather conditions, things like that. They're pretty fun. Some of them are really hard. And then it does have this cool thing, which is the Aerocache Hunt, which basically there's things hidden like this all Welcome over the, the game. Hunt Shush! <laughs> there's things all over the game that you can fly around and find, and sometimes you even have to get out of your plane to get to them under a waterfall or something. So you have to be able to land in some hard areas and, and actually get in and get them. Um, right here, I'll show you. Uh, what you can do is you can go into free flight and you can select an airport. And it shows you know certain stuff about the airport and whatever. But here's the job board, which is at every airport. <clears throat> On here is a, some of the missions you can do. So there's a quite a bit at each, air, each airport that are separate from the actual mission list I showed you. So we'll just do this one today. This is the plane for it. I've been having a blast with this game. It does seem a little small, like when you first get it, that you just get Hawaii, the island to play on, um, and you have to pay for the expansion, but it's actually really, really big. Uh, it takes forever to fly across it if you want. I, mean, I haven't gotten bored yet, and I haven't spent any money on the game yet. So being free and the graphics and everything like that is it's a lot of fun the controls are great missions are fun there we go it's just gonna give you the preview oh. all right so some guy's gonna probably yak at me because he's getting in my airplane right now there we go I'm uh -oh. so impressed you got your license to fly let's go get a burger all right, that's cool. So you can see, it's all like pretty detailed and stuff. Um, you know, these actually all work. You can click on them and all that stuff if you really want, uh, or you can use the the functions. It has tons of different views. You know, you've got all this cockpit, outside one. Well, one thing that's really cool is you can move this reticle anywhere you want. Like if you want to look out the window, and you can still fly using. You know, this is your point of reference right here. So you don't always have to be looking straight out the window. All right, just turn the parking brake off. Actually, I'm gonna use this view. Okay. All right, there's a feature you probably just saw pop up in the bottom right corner is the skip to waypoint. Um, it's for if you just don't want to wait or you don't want to actually be like driving around the airport like this, you just want to go and take off. It's also available like in flight um, if you don't want to wait. <clears throat> like I was saying, you get more experience and more things unlocked if you do do the Whoa, actual flight. Can the landing gear handle taxiing this fast? Yeah, shut up, man. Um, but we'll just use that feature right now, just like that. Uh, like I said, you get more stuff, more experience, more stuff, more unlocks. If you do do the whole flight, for purpose of the video, this I won't. So cool. But, Let's go flying. All right, man, shut up. Okay, uh, it's got all your typical stuff up here: throttle, you know, speed, everything like that. Uh, fuel. Let's check that out. Make sure I've got enough. Hundred. Yeah, I've got plenty. All right. So check that. All right. Let's do it. Give it full throttle. And then take that parking brake off. Probably get about 
50, 50, 60 knots before I'll try to lift off. Nope. All right. Here we go. That's how it's done. Like I said, there's a bunch of different views. Still pretty realistic. Got to put up my landing gear. And all that stuff. <clears throat> Fly over these residents. Now, the one thing, like I was showing you, is this is still your point of reference. So. Whoa! Flying this low is neat. Um. Let's see what we can get. I'm still flying. In this view, with the point of reference. I mean, the ground, the, the ground clutter and the graphics are what you'd expect from a flight sim. Uh, it's still pretty cool. It's a lot more detailed than the last one, the Flight Simulator X from Microsoft. Um, it's not nearly as many planes and things like that in this game, obviously. Wow. What's up, people? Alright, our destination is across the bay. Here. I'm going full speed in this airplane. And it is 38 miles away. So, for the purpose of the video, skip to waypoint. <clears throat> now, I, I have all the graphics and everything turned up to the absolute highest you can. But I did notice when, while I was adjusting everything and turning everything up, there's cool. We're flying. There's tons of different options that you can use. So you don't have to have the best rig in the world to play this. Um, it's, it's helpful, obviously, because it looks cool and everything like that. So cool. Almost there. But you don't have to have the best stuff. You can play it with an older computer or whatever. No, right, so we're coming in for the takeoff. Or for the landing, sorry. And it doesn't, uh, one of the things, it doesn't just line you up perfectly to the runway and all that. You you do have to make adjustments and, you know, account for a wind and stuff. This is one of the very first, like, missions you can do, so it's really easy. But, and this is the easiest plane in the game to fly. Uh, like, I have the PT-17 Stearman, which is a lot harder. The nose sticks way up, so it's a lot harder to see. And I have the uh, P-51 Mustang, which is just bonkers to fly. Uh, it's a lot more difficult. This thing basically flies itself. Alright, closing in. Okay. Come around about a mile and a half out. Come around and get a decent approach at it. You get graded on, I don't know necessarily in this mission it will, but you get graded on all sorts of things like your landing softness and speed and airspeed and, you know, everything they'll grade you on and that's what you get your experience points from, which is what unlocks planes and unlocks missions, unlocks territory and so forth. So, you know, just like any other game, better you do, the better you do, that type of thing. But, like I said, this plane flies itself. I'm actually going to have a drink real quick while we're flying. lined up nicely. like was coming in coming in pretty good. This is my favorite route of fly, it's not quite as noisy. Um obviously if you depending on the plane, P fifty one Mustang, loud as balls. But in this little single prop thing it's not a big deal. Okay. Start to slow down. 
airspeed's way too high. You want to be below, like, uh, mm, between 50 and 60 for landing. Uh, that's the easiest, the easiest to keep it level and drop it down. So we'll bring this throttle back. Try to get, get us to slow down a bit. Bring the landing gear out. Like this is probably gonna be pretty nice. A nice landing. All right. Cut the throttle all the way off. So we're just gliding right now. We'll be right about 60 knots when we touch down. Bring it in. There we go. Oh, I bounced. Oh, I'm bad. There we go. Nice landing. And there we are on the ground. And it gives me some points and stuff, and that is Microsoft Flight. It just came out on Steam. Check us out, newgamerunion.com. Like us, Facebook, everything like that. See you guys later.